Last time on Rockin' the Oldies. Reaction shots for the... Oh! Win! Razor, why don't you take at least a snapshot of that jo Joker? Oh! <laughs> oh, man. All right. Next turn, please. All right. Multiple reaction shots. Oh, that's going to be a grenade. <laughs> Greetings and salutations to the denizens of the Cyberdog Nation, the editors of the XCOM subreddit, and all the peoples of YouTube and the interwebs. This is Ivan Dogovich, rocking the oldies with the 71st episode of Let's Play Retro XCOM Tear from the Deep. In the last episode, we shot down a medium sub in the North Atlantic, and we had a brutal time at the breach. We lost Razor and Ellis Kid, but we will have to see about finding some more cloning vats for them. Oh my gosh, that was not an easy mission. Um, yeah, and it wasn't really even, you know, we didn't even get hit with a disruptor pulse launcher. We were hit by sonic cannon fire and it breached our ion armor and we were yeah it was it was pretty rough oh god um not not what i was looking forward to okay just uh i've got right here a little bit of uh the graphs as we're on our way back so we're seeing a slight bump now in alien activity compared to XCOM activity we have got a lot more so our score is going to be good that's good I also took a look at funding. Our income has gone up a bit. However, our maintenance is up and, and even greater. So we'll probably need a couple million at the end of the month to make our way through. So I just wanted to take a look at that. Okay, there's the Triton returning from our uh, mission here. Let's go ahead and get some stuff sold off here at Rendog Prime. I'll queue that up. All right, I'm selling off the alien sub construction. We don't need it anymore. Um, we're selling off the Gilman corpses that we brought home. I'm gonna sell off a thermal shock launcher. We've got more disruptor pulse launchers than we will need, so we're selling some of those. Uh, starting to get into the part of the game where you get a lot of sonic cannons so we will be selling those off as well so we're going to bring a couple million in which is good now the thing is i would really like to be able to see the 19th of june i probably need to have 1.5 million on but there are some things i'd like to build things i would like to build um at rendog prime especially i would like to get another mc lab here so that I could get more people in, that would be good. It'd be also nice to build one over in Burgo, Maine. Um, yeah, so they're not cheap though, and they take a while. They take 24 days, 750. Actually, I think I'm okay with that. That won't give me a, a more capability by the end of June, but it will give me more capability by the end of July. All right, we'll build this beginning of next month. I think I'm okay with that. What else do I need to build? Um, hmm. We need to transfer some stuff. Yeah. Um, let's see. And then transmission resolvers cost, yeah, 1.4. So, at some point, too, I want to get another, um, I want to get another base base down south somewhere okay anyway i think we're pretty good here we are still researching the disruptor pulse launcher we don't know how long that's gonna take it'll take a little while um anything else we're going main uh, i think i think we're looking good yeah so let's go ahead and hit up the fast forward get some time production med kits done at Rendock prime Okay, manufacture more particle disturbers. Okay, that's at Virgo, Maine. Six days left on our Manta. That'll be nice. Let's manufacture up more of these guys. Put our extra technician on there. Okay, we're not making them fast at Renug Prime. We're just trickling a little bit of funds. Just 
see how many we got of those. I didn't notice those to sell. Here we go. Oh, 12. That's a little chunk of change. Good. Yeah, I'll sell those guys off. Okay, and back to the Geoscape. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get a new base. Uh, I want to have it down here near the, near the Antarctic. Maybe in the South Pacific. We do have a base near the South. No, I'm going to put it in the South Atlantic down over here. It'll cover part of the South Pacific and it'll cover this area with its sensors. Okay, so bases, build new base, this, ooh, 800,000, how about you, 600,000. Okay, so this base is going to be called, this base is going to be called Mud Dog South. So, I'm going to put my airlock right here. At this point, I'm not going to put in a transmission resolver. I'm just going to build a general source and a sub pin. Because why not? No, I'm not going to build a sub pin. I'm just going to leave it there. Just let that, that build. If we get some more cash, um, we'll throw down a transmission resolver. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. We got our sub pens online there. Sub pens here. Okay, there's a couple things I want to buy. I want to buy a couple cheesy craft cannons. That'll work. Uh, what is it? Ajax? No, not craft cannons. I want to buy Ajax launchers because they're cheap and we can use them. Uh, when we trade out some of our craft that'll work okay all right looking good here looking good um yes yeah, so mud dog south i did want to mention this mud dog is a friend of mine from dogcraft.net and he is another member of the cyber dog network with ren dog virgo and strife and he has some xcom enemy unknown let's plays of which again my uh, uh i have had some ivan dogovich characters so um yeah, like i've been naming these after other youtubers that are doing xcom uh series i just wanted to plop down a base with mud dog um so i have had this on my list of base names for a long time <laughs> anyway congrats mud dog for getting into my series and thank you for having me in yours yours have been very entertaining I hope you, uh, you know, hope you get to see this episode at some point. Anyway, um, and if guys, if you haven't checked it out, feel free to check out Mud Dog's channel and some of his his great work. He's done a lot of uh, really cool Minecraft stuff as well. But um, yeah, his his XCOM series is nice. All right, we are good here, and let's hit the fast forward. Let's see if we make some progress. Pick up another enemy sub. See if we can get some research breakthroughs. Get some Ajax launchers, that's fine. How are we doing? Keep moving, keep moving. All right, getting toward the end of the month. Living quarters at Virgo, Maine is complete. Okay, that'll be helpful. And I did want to check that out. We now have a workshop that'll come online in a couple days. That'll give us a little more capability. We will we'll probably hire, well, yeah, we'll hire some more technicians over there when that comes online okay I'm good with that and more technicians will help us build our submarines faster oh gosh so here we are a repeat mission alien interdiction North Atlantic Gilman heavy cruiser just like the last mission uh, I'm gonna send a barracuda out after it it's going to shoot it down. It's going to smoke all the ion beam accelerators in that ship. Um, let's go ahead and get the Barracuda out on it. And then we're going to face a brutal uh, tactical mission to take it down. It doesn't look like the same sub. Um... 
And that let's go with the cautious attack. Stay off at my range, which is longer than his, and just keep shooting it until he goes down. That is the nice thing about these submarines. Okay, he is downed. It's night. I don't want to deal with it at night again. But I think I am willing to take it on again. Just because with what we can earn from our sonic cannons and such we can give ourselves some more capability and funding is going to be an issue all right okay i'm gonna go ahead and equip our triton and get it ready for launch all right we are ready to launch triton one over to our crash site i have brought um, I have swapped out some troops Wolfie was wounded so she's still recovering um, we had to swap some armor around we had some armor destroyed in the last mission uh, everybody's equipped with magnetic ion armor or ion armor so that's looking good um, I did I was able to successfully um, complete the cloning process so we have Razor back in Razor Zulkran Tavrik and also we do have Ellis Kid. So our two new clones are back in and actually coming out of the vats, they're they're actually looking pretty good. We've got some pretty good accuracy with those clones. So that's that's pretty pretty decent. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Ready to begin. These medium subs, man. <laughs> I guess as ready as we'll ever be. We'll see if we can do a little better this time and not smoke part of our team as we go into this. So I'll be right back as I equip the troops. All right, everybody is equipped. Let's get them rolling. All right, Barrett, take a look out the door. More volcanic terrain. That stuff I'm not really fond of. Anybody else pick anybody up? No. G Tiger. Look that way. It looks like we might be at the corner of the map. Go up. Take a look this way. Okay, we are at the corner of the map. That's good. I don't, I don't mind that. That's actually pretty good. Okay, G Tiger will be helping us scout. We've got these nooks and crannies in some of our volcanic terrain. Okay. Let's see who we have here. Rowanna. Let's just get oop, there we go. Oh no 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 shoot. Yeah, so what I meant to do was click on the one and have her look at the guy instead of fly over him. Uh, at least we can see a little more terrain here. So in that same little uh, ambush nook and cranny. Okay. So who do we who can we have deal with that? Let's just see here. I know we can get Barrett to deal with it. And that's probably just fine. Barrett, please take care of Mr. Gilman. And you didn't. Alright, go ahead and go back down. Nope, not that. Go do you. Um, okay, just step over there. Have anybody else in ion armor? I think Nightmare is in ion arm, uh, magnetic ion armor. He is. Okay. Let's take two snapshots with you. No. And no. All right. Looks like we're gonna have to grenade chain. Um. So I want somebody who can pick up and toss. Winter Grave. Hat Wintergrave? You know what? You might be able to get him too. I think you gotta go one more forward and then up. There we go. Okay, because you have pretty good accuracy. And there we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, yeah, dealing with the first the first Gilman is always a rush. It's nice that he did not have Disruptor Pulse Launch. Uh, just a rubber post launcher to ruin our day. Okay, let's get some of our some of our scouts out. Go ahead and fly up a little bit, Kazzy. You will help us scout a bit. 
but we don't want to put you too much in the front. Ellis Kid is going to be one of our sniper support, our new uh, clones. We've got him with the Sonic Cannon. Uh, we'll keep him pretty much in the rear, but he has some really nice accuracy. Okay, Iron. Get you guys out a bit. Razor. Gonna try to keep this as careful as possible. Um, Bam, I think I'm gonna have you pick your... pick up a grenade. Yeah. Okay. Let's call that a turn. Cross your fingers. See what happens. Okay, nothing happens on an alien's turn. Yay, they didn't do anything. They gave up. Right. Okay, Jay Perro. What do we got over here? That guy had a sonic cannon. Not really. Don't feel like I need to get that. Okay. That's looking all right there. We do want to pick up the enemy sub fairly soon, though. So, Alice, you're not going first. Iron. Let's come check this side of the map a bit. Okay, here we picked up another guy. He's got a sonic cannon, which is actually pretty good use of Alice. Since he has a cannon and can respond to a cannon and 80 accuracy is just hard to ignore. I like that. Iron, can you pick up any more guys for me? Nobody in that little hidey hole, huh? Okay, that's good. I am glad about that. All right. Bam, I want, no. I'm gonna say I wanted him to prime his grenade. No, I don't think so. And actually, I think it's a better idea to have guys behind with the prime grenades so that they can toss to the front. Conehead, South Compton, Dulakaba. Okay, let's just go through our guys on the ground and get to our flyers. Gonna continue to take this cautiously. Alright. No enemy sub on the map yet. Alright. I think I'm good with you, Kazzy Barrett. Let's just get some. I think I'm gonna bring you all the way to the high level. Okay. Rowana, you are up high. Keep keep an eye out for us. Wintergrave. Come back those guys up. Nightmare. Come back these guys up. And G Tiger. I want you to get out front a bit. Give us a bit more eyes. Eyes on the prize. Yep. I like you at the third level. Okay. Not picking any bad guys up down there. Alright. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Next turn, please. Moving around in the sub. They've lost two of their soldiers so far. G Tiger. Check out this way some more. I do want to get this edge of the map cleared off a bit. Alright, looking good. Hmm. What do we see down here? Aha! See the beginning of an enemy submarine. That is good. Okay, G-Tiger, just come over here. Stand on that pinnacle, please. And look that way. Alright. Yep, I'm pretty happy with where you are at. Alright, I think I'm going to go down to ground level. And move my troops some more. Iron, if you would come over here, please. Check that area. Okay, looking good. Bam, bam. See anything down here? No. We do have another heal mass that looks like it's going to be in our way a bit. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to hold you there for now. J. Perro, come up this alley a ways. Pick anything up? No. All right, South Compton, back up please. 
and do like a bar. back up again Ellis kid can move a little more forward uh, razor yep back up and cone head back up winter grave let's get you out a bit helping these guys out okay Rowena you can do some more help over here too okay still not seeing anything oh now you picked one up in then <laughs> they're so dastardly in the ambush location oh and row missed can you go down row okay so Rowena is up high Hmm. Jay Perro. Does it cost you to throw? 16. You don't have enough time to pick up and throw. How about Bam Beat Man? You don't have enough time to pick up and throw. Razor. Alright, so let's see who else may have time units and a lot of strength. So Barrett. If I brought you over here. Would you have an angle on that guy? You might. You might. But again, then again, he may be blocked. But I think it's definitely worth the shot. No line of fire. So, scoot you this way. And come back across the map. Come to there. Okay. Go down these levels. Try and aim shot. No. Try a snapshot. Ho 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 Nice, nice, nice work. Nice work. A shot across the map. Okay. Rose survived her ability to spot but not take down a gill man in a hidey hole. Alright, guys. So that I think is pretty good spot to put a pause in this we're at 22 minutes um, with my current recording almost 23 it'll be a little longer when we get a beginning and opening on it so thank you for joining me we are taking on another medium sub we are doing a little better <laughs> we've picked three of these guys out of their little nooks and crannies that are out in the open we, but we still have a, a submarine to breach we still have plenty of opportunity for many things to go wrong <laughs> okay if you would like to join the ranks of the XCOM, XCOM team go ahead and leave me a comment I really do appreciate all the comments I get and all the feedback it's uh, it's a lot of fun this episode of Rockin' the Oldies a retro let's play with Ivan Dogovich has been brought to you by dogcraft.net the XCOM subreddit and the flying swami Viewers like you make this series possible. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is Ivan Dogovich. Cheers!